Breaking the wall of pitch perception. Qualified in the Sendai Lab. Kai Wang, Tohoku University, Japan. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Do you like music? When I was a child, my father introduced a famous musician to me, Bob Marley. He said one good thing about music. When it hits you, you feel no pain. When I grew up, I bought many audio systems to let music hit me more. So what kind of audio system or music player do you use? Have you changed the equalizer? Surely everyone has different equalizer settings because we have different tastes in music, right? But why? Because we prefer to hear sound that we are sensitive to. For example, when you plug a guitar string, the string will generate many sound waves. Natural sound are like this. It's interesting that some people recognize pitch through high frequencies and others through low frequency. Well, why? In my research, I found that these two groups have a completely different pattern and brain activity for pitch perception mechanism. This may explain why we need to change the equalizer for ourselves and, and why we have different tastes in music. So my goal is to develop a brand new audio system which can automatically set the best equalizer for each person, especially for some people disabled because of accident or ALS, and infants as well. Letting infants and disabled people listen passively to the tones can generate their individual patterns of pitch perception mechanism. Then the computer, can, the computer can automatically set the personalized equalizer for their patterns. This personalized equalizer setting has multiple uses to improve the lives of many people. For example, music therapy or early education. However, sometimes these two areas are not so effective because the equalizer setting in the music may not fit that specific patient's or infant's needs. If the audio system can provide the best equalizer for them, music can affect them easily, and rehabilitation, early education as well, will happen more efficiently. This system might also improve the technology for hearing aids, since after air trauma, the, the sound waves people are sensitive to may have changed. We can use the difference of acoustic sensitivity between before and after air trauma to make a more accurate hearing aid or do better surgery for those patients. Ladies and gentlemen, sound surround our world. Making a better sound can help us make a better world. Thank you.